Josie, Good best luck. of luck with that. Now, if you're looking for something quick and simple, you've come to the right place. This is a dinner which is going to delight. Isn't that right, Nisha? Oh, Tona? I love the alliteration. We're, that it is. we're yes. excited about this. <laughs> Tell us what you're making. Well, this is the, the simplest lamb, lamb kebabs that you could ever make. Really? But do you know what's so liberating about this? So these are kebabs that you make with mincemeat. There are no breadcrumbs, there are no binding agents, what? there are no eggs. Do you know? Do you know? Oh, why? I know. Isn't that crazy? Because, do you know why? Because you I just don't you. need them. Don't need and I think that's what's so exciting about, you know, when, you, when you're liberated into that, knowing that you yeah. can just go to your fridge, you've got mincemeat in there, you don't have to swing west to spag bowl every time you can swing yes. east and get a kebab going in minutes. So these so are 10 minutes. What do you mean you don't need them? Because we're always like a bit of egg or some flour yeah, or yeah. some crackers or something that, like that. Those are it's crazy. It's those cooking tropes that we all hang on to. It's that classical Western way of cooking. Yes. And the rest of the world cooks in an entirely different way. So you don't have, you know, so let's talk about this. So these are just, you know, lamb kebabs. In India, we didn't have white bread from which you would make breadcrumbs. You didn't have bread that went stale. It was eaten. You know, so all of that doesn't exist. Right. Eggs, you eat, you know, they're not just a binding agent. Yeah. The meat, look at these, these are on the hob. They, they will so hold tasty. their form and they're just pure. It's like a pure sausage. So this is delicious. And, uh -huh. and the thing is, it is very simple in terms of ingredients. So minced meat, it yeah. can be minced lamb. The, the truth is, the fattier the meat, the better. So minced pork, minced lamb, minced beef are great because then you get that moistness. So none of that 5% less than. No, you don't really you want it all. What do you reckon, no. minimum 10%? Um, I, I like it, fat. yeah, I, do you know you what, 15. the truth is, it depends, because if you're eating it quite regularly, you can go really low with the fat. If you're making it in a sauce, you can go low with the fat, but if you're making kebabs, a bit of fat is good because it helps almost internally marinate that meat and keep it moist and soft. Yeah. Yep. So, mince in a bowl, so far so easy. Into that go raw, raw chopped onions. Right. And what will happen is the more fat, going to your point, the more fat there is in the meat, yeah. like lamb, which is quite fatty, those onions will cook as the as the kebab cooks. So in oh. ten minutes, those onions will soften and become lovely and sweet. Do you like that? Very much so. Do you like it because of the writer that goes with it, or do you like the kebab itself? I love the kebab itself, and but the, the writer's really nice. Good answer. Bit of garlic, because mm. garlic and lamb, garlic and pork is fantastic. So if you're doing it with chicken or turkey, what I would say is just use a bit more garlic to give it a bit I love more flavour. Yeah. It's really nice. Turkey is so good. I feel my son chicken mince quite a lot. Does he well. like it? Yeah. No, I bet he yeah. does. Chicken mince, they're very, very healthy, but red meat for these are particularly we good. We just asked, congratulations this week. I don't know if this is the right time to do it. But um, so you are now you've been made a chancellor, I think. Is that right? I have of, of Liverpool John Moore's University. Congratulations! That's amazing. Well, That's amazing. It's a lovely it is thing amazing. To really. Look at you. You look wonderful. <laughs> oh wow! Look at you... that. <laughs> it's yeah. Th there is this phrase, isn't there? In shape. Why did you, you, did you study that? So yes, I did. So I did. I did psychology at Liverpool Uni to start with, yeah. and then didn't want to. Be, or the, there's something about the psychology degree I didn't love, and then I wanted to be a barrister desperately. Yeah. So I went to John Moore's, and I have to say, at that point in my life, you know, I'd just done a degree or, or whatever, just started studying a degree that I didn't enjoy. You just think, what, what am I going to do with my life? You know, you feel, and so many at that age, like 18, 19, it's just bleakness, isn't it? You just think life is a load of corridor, you know, a corridor sure. with loads of closed doors, and um, and so John Moore's really sort of picked me up out of that mire. Oh, what an honour so for it's you really now! Really an honour. And you know what? Those kids, those people that graduate. Graduate at the age of my kids, every single one of those hands that I shake hands with, you know, you, you're totally moved. Aww. You just think, God, I can see the future for you, and it is marvellous if you want it to be. Keep your head down, keep your heart in the right the place. Thing is, nothing's a mistake, is it, Nisha? It's all part of your life, isn't it? You go through yeah. these moments, you've done uh, psycho is it psychology? There's psychology in well, there. Well, do you yeah. know what? It's all part of your life, and I'm sure you can read people really well now, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You, that's the thing. Can I you think tell whether I like this food or not? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm just talking over it. <laughs> but it's true, because I was a barrister for 20 years. And you're taught that, it, you know, in that job, within three minutes, you kind of can read a person, you know, kind of where the truth is. Yeah. You, know, you know, you sort of know what makes them tick. So it's a, it's a, it's a really yeah. useful thing. But you're right, some, the, the right doors open and the wrong doors close. Yeah. And I think if you have that faith, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as failure. Yeah. Back to lamb kebabs, though. <laughs> very quickly. Anything but a failure. <laughs> yeah, we... My belly. <laughs> yogurt yeah, is so well. sweet and nice, by it's the way. It's lovely. Yeah. I'll show you how Ooh. to make that. So, so far, onion, garlic, 
Cumin powder is the only spice that we're going to put in there. Wow. Cumin powder is that spice that you use across the whole of the Middle East. Engine room. Yeah, it's Moroccan, it's Indian, it's Pakistani, it's Bangladeshi. It's, it's going to take you really firmly. So distinctive, isn't it? Yeah. So distinctive. And it, it, it's a real weight carrier. Do you know what I mean? It's a really muscular ingredient. Yeah. So all it is is cumin powder in there. Oh, wow. And then we're going to put a little bit of freshness in there. So fresh coriander, please, or if you don't like coriander, parsley. Mm-hmm. I read a fantastic thing in a book where somebody described coriander and parsley and they said that coriander is to parsley what the red squirrel is to the grey squirrel. <laughs> parsley is on its way out. <laughs> you know, coriander is going to be on, oh, on look, the ascendant. Some people hate it, don't they? They're I like it, but I'm not it. Yeah. Parsley's my first it. love. Yeah, it, it, I love coriander. I think it's almost a genetic thing if you don't. It's like that Brussels sprouts thing. Mm. Yeah. And I tell you, if you're an Indian and you've got a coriander hater in your family, Oh, it's almost you've got to just write them out of the wheel, really. <laughs> <laughs> and then green chilli, please. Now, can I just talk to you for a second about chilies? You'll tell me if I'm running out of time, but I do wax lyrical about chilies. So... We've got two minutes left over. The fatter the chilli, the milder the chilli. So let's just okay. look where the heat comes. So if I slice this chilli yeah. down the middle... Yeah. The heat in the chilli comes from the white bits, the pith. So if you want to take the heat out of your chilli... Just remove the pith, remove the white bits, and that's where the heat comes from. But the, the theory is, basically, the narrower the chilli, the smaller the chilli, the more bite it's I did not know got. that. And it's not even really about the red or the green. So red chilies have got less of that green flavour. It sounds mad, doesn't it? They don't yeah, give yeah, you yeah. a freshness, they just give you a heat. Okay. Whereas green chilies give you a fresh flavour. So fat chilies like that, no heat, loads of freshness. So I'm going to use my hands, so mm -hmm. forgive me. Into that, so we've got the coriander, we've got the green chilli. The hands are a good thing, you know, because what I'm doing... Once you get your hands in there, Indians would always do this, is you're melting slightly the fat in the meat yeah. and melding those ingredients together. And then it's as simple as this. You make sausages out of them. I'm so going to make patties, these when I go home. And then they go on either a griddle pan mm -hmm. or they go in the grill and they're 10 minutes, 10 minutes on every side. Because they're it. very, very narrow. OK, so to go with that, let me just give my hands a little bit of a wash. That writer that you really liked, which is the yoghurt dip. Yeah. Dead simple. You need mint jelly. Just I'm talking... 45 seconds till we need to move on. 45 so you seconds, you can do it? yeah, easily. Yes. Oh, God, I mean, I can, I can lay <laughs> it over there. We can do this in mint 20 seconds. Mint jelly Come into yoghurt like this, and that's it. That's Dang it. it. Oh, it's rude, isn't it? It's rude. But, yeah, that's it. So you've got your kebabs. You've oh, got them in front of you, so, so I don't need good. to make this look good, really. And then you've got your writer and you've got a bit of red onion. And then a little, what's, what's that, a little oh, it's tortilla? A tortilla. Well, of, yeah, a little tortilla, as you say. Um, yeah, a little tortilla wrap. Nice you don't well. even need the wrap on that. So nice. Yeah. And then a little bit of coriander. And there you go, a little oh. carb-free oh. version oh. of what Dumb. we had. But 10 minutes is so simple. And we Nisha, talked a lot that around that. Absolutely. And we got a chilli masterclass. Thank you, Nisha. I'm going to have another one. Yeah, go on. Have absolutely. <laughs> Uh, for the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from this morning chefs, uh, well, you head to the this morning, uh, the old this morning app. Thank you so much, Nisha, and once again, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations. And while I'm eating my kebab.